much for watching. Today's video is going to be an Aldi grocery haul. I'm excited to share with you all the things that I got from Aldi. Everything that I got is under $100 and it is enough food for two weeks, which is incredible. I don't know if you've ever shopped at Aldi before, but it is definitely incredibly affordable, great produce. I can't wait to share with you what I found, but also I'm going to be sharing with you a fridge clean out and a pantry clean out organization, putting everything that I got back in. And I hope this video inspires you, gives you tons of motivation. Please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I would love to have you and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm gonna take you guys through all the stuff that I got from Aldi. So not only am I super impressed with the prices of most of these items, but incredibly impressed with the quality of the produce. And you'll see as I go through some of the different things that the quality of produce is way better than I can find at like Walmart or Kroger or any other kind of grocery store. Just really awesome stuff. So I'll also kind of give you an idea of what we're gonna be using some of these things for. So first of all, got some breakfast sausage, good for breakfast, good for breakfast for dinner. Can't go wrong, super, super good. So with their ground beef, you can see here that this is a two and a half pound container, almost two and a half pounds for $7. So pretty good deal when, you know, for how much meat you're getting. Um, and we always try to buy stuff like that in bulk by all of our um, meat at one time. Now I will say we did have to, or Jack is currently at Walmart getting a few things that we could not get at Aldi. You can't get everything at Aldi. We needed um, some other kinds of meat and stuff that they didn't have like a pork butt to do like pork barbecue, so they don't always have everything. Um, we got a few snack items, so these are all of our snack items here. We got some sea salt popcorn, and I love that even though it is a cheaper grocery store, they still carry tons of organic, non-GMO products, which I love. Um, these are kind of like Cheez-Its. Jack really likes these. And then these are super delicious. They're like little lemon, like cakes. I don't know, they're super good. We've had them before once. So those were our snacks that we got. And then we were so impressed the other day we got a few of these, their salad mixes. And the quality, again, of the lettuce, it just, it didn't wilt very quickly. I felt like it worked really well. Um, you know, buying ahead of time, it didn't go bad by the time we used them. So I think we got two of those. And then we also got a thing of coleslaw because we're gonna make some slaw for fish tacos. So we just went ahead and got a coleslaw mix. You could make regular coleslaw with that as well if you wanted to. And then we got a few frozen meats. So we got some boneless chicken thighs and we got some boneless chicken breasts. And then we also got some frozen shrimp. So the frozen stuff, I feel like they had a much bigger selection, but in terms of fresh, they didn't have a lot. So the ground beef was all we got for fresh stuff. Um, we got a small package of these green beans here, some cilantro, and I mean, even herbs, which I feel like can go bad pretty quickly and sometimes don't look the best in the grocery store. Pretty impressed with how fresh these look. So I will wash these and stick them in some water to keep them lasting longer. Found a can of refried beans, because we'll probably do some Mexican this week. Um, we got a loaf of whole wheat bread back there. Um, Jack likes hummus. This is a chipotle hummus. Probably too spicy for me, but we'll see if he likes it. Looks good. Got some sour cream for Mexican. Got some actual coleslaw to do. Um, we're having hamburgers tonight, and I know later this week we're going to do probably barbecue, so this can go on, um, coleslaw can go on it or on the side. And then we also got some of this red skin potato salad. Um, this was, so it's weird. They had this in a small container, but then this was the smallest container they had of coleslaw. So, oh well. And then we got some other bagged produce here. So we got a bunch of onions. We never run out of onions. Um, this small thing of little mini potatoes we're going to use in a pot roast. I just love the colors in these too. Like really pretty, really pretty potato colors. And then we got a package of bell peppers. So these were three bell, bell peppers. Um, and I, again, like I'm so impressed with the quality of these. Like they don't look mushy, brown. Like they just look really, really good quality. Sorry if the crunching is annoying. <laughs> um, we got a package of mini tortillas. I mean, this is like a ton. 
um, which we will use for fish tacos. Got carrots for the pot roast, whole carrots. And then they didn't have individual lemons, so we bought a whole thing of them, which is fine though, because we'll bake with them. We will also use them um, in like our beverages or things like that, so those will not go to waste. And then a giant thing of toilet paper, which I am so thankful that we can get toilet paper again. Um, but all of this stuff here was under $90. I think it was somewhere around $80. And it, of course, that doesn't include everything that we wanted to get on this grocery run. I think there are three or four more items that Jack is getting from Walmart because they didn't have them at Aldi. But when you figure that he's probably gonna spend $12 or something like that at Walmart, um, this was a entire grocery haul for around $100. This will get us through probably about two weeks almost. So I'm very impressed with this. So what I'm gonna do now is um, clean out the fridge. I'm gonna show you guys cleaning out my fridge. I'm going to organize this stuff because most of this stuff goes in the fridge or in the freezer. So I'm gonna clean it out and just check and make sure if there's anything expired in the freezer or the fridge and then put all this stuff away. So let's go ahead and do that now. Ah, I forgot one more thing before we get to the fridge. This giant pizza. So they have these fresh pizzas that are, um, they go in the freezer, they're frozen. And this was like $4. I mean, this is a giant pizza. Like there's my hand. So way bigger than like a DiGiorno's or any of those other pizzas. And we got one with pepperoni and sausage because we were thinking we could take vegetables and cut them up and put them on the pizza. And it was cheaper than buying the Supreme pizza. So this is way bigger than any other frozen pizza I could find in the store. And it was, I think between four and $5. So very good deal on this. Okay, so let me explain to you how I organize my refrigerator, just in case you guys are curious. So because of the height of the shelves, that really kind of determines where I have to put everything. So I do have two produce drawers and um, they're not very big. So uh, some of my produce I cannot fit in the drawers. That's all right. Um, this side has like salad, bagged salad mixes and things like that. This side has fresh produce. If I cut an onion or something and have it in a bag, that goes on this side and that's all I have. So I kind of have to work with what I've got. And then this um, shelf right here is the tallest one. So that's where juice, milk, water, that's basically where all the really tall stuff fits. And then I can put other stuff that's a little bit shorter underneath it. And then this is my cheese drawer. So it has all my cheeses and then sometimes sandwich meat, deli meat will go in here. For the most part, it is just shredded cheese. I have some Italian cheese, Mexican cheese, Parmesan cheese, sliced cheese, snack cheese. You get the idea. Um, and then I have this shelf pretty much free. I have my eggs over here. And then this is some of the prepackaged food here. And then some shorter containers and stuff will go up here. So I have my coffee creamer. It could also fit down here, but I usually keep it up here because it does fit. Um, any open jars and stuff will go up here. 
got some sour cream. This is all leftovers up here. So this is usually, we never really plan what we're gonna have for lunch. Most of the time, especially lately, we have been working so much on the house that we will just grab whatever is left over from the night before. So we have some leftover pizza, some leftover mac and cheese, some leftover sauerkraut. This will probably all get eaten within the next day. And then that's pretty much it. So I do like to leave plenty of space, of course, in case I open anything and need to refrigerate it. But that's kind of how I organize this. And then all of my condiments are on the side and there's kind of a rhyme or reason, but it's also mostly what will fit on what shelf. Taller stuff goes on the bottom if it can't fit on one of these smaller shelves. All my butter, cream cheese stuff goes in here. So I also have <laughs> some beauty products in here too, like um, face stuff or eye patches and things that I like to keep refrigerated. So. Ladies, if you um, need a little space in your fridge for some of your beauty products, this is a good place to store it. But that is the fridge. Now we're gonna move on to the freezer. Okay, so this, the freezer surprisingly did not need that much organizing and there is still plenty of room if I wanted to put stuff. The hardest thing was <laughs> this pizza from Aldi. Because it's so big and I have such a small freezer, it really does not fit very well. It will close, like the door will close if I try to close it. But I had to put something behind underneath it. I don't know if you can see. To like tip it forward so it's kind of like sitting in the freezer at an angle. That's the only way it wouldn't lay flat on the bottom. But you do what you gotta do and make it work. All of my frozen meats are here, so ground beef and sausage and things like that. I've got some frozen fruit in the back. And then these are all of my packages of frozen chicken breast, chicken thighs, shrimp. There is tilapia, frozen tilapia. There's frozen breakfast stuff back there. There's frozen tater tots back there. Basically anything that's in a package and it's frozen goes here. These are all of my frozen vegetables, which right now I have corn because I'll use this for Mexican. I'll use this for chili, anything like that. I also have some frozen broccoli. I have another one of these. These frozen daiquiri things are really good. Um, and then there's just some open stuff up here, some open meatballs, like one more frozen waffle, just anything that's been open or it's almost finished, I just kind of put here. Cause I feel like sometimes this stuff gets shoved way in the back and then I forget about it. So I like to have it nice and visible, like, hey, finish me, eat me. So this is the freezer, everything fit, which I'm so glad. There's only a few more things to put away and they all go in the pantry. And I'm gonna show you guys my pantry cause I haven't done it in a while and it needs just a tiny bit of organization current pantry situation it's really not that bad the hardest part is this top shelf because the ceiling is slanted there but everything else is actually pretty organized for the most part and then at the bottom we have a ton of boxes of large things so I got some chips for the guys who are doing work on my house so I have some snacks and stuff there in the back for them um, a giant box of pop tarts that was on sale at Wegmans these are the only two pop tarts that I really like to eat um, and then a giant thing of macaroni and cheese, Wegmans brand macaroni and cheese back there that was also on sale. A giant thing of these boil in a bag rice things. Basically, if I can get something that is on like mega on sale and it is in bulk, then I will try to buy it, but I don't have a ton of room, so I really have to be selective. Um, so just a bunch of like large things down here on the bottom. And then the way I have these shelves organized right now is this is all baking stuff. So flowers and sugars and things like that go back here. They're in this blue container. I have some like decorating things and stuff like that. And then same thing on these little turntables that I have. I have like cupcake things and sprinkles and decorating things. And then here I've got like honey and baking powder and baking soda. Basically anything that's baking related I have down there. Now what I would love to do is kind of reorganize this and reorganize the space that's next to my stove where I keep all of my spices. Cause I just feel like some of those things here need to go there and some of those things need to come in here. So I would love to do that in 
another video. I'm not gonna do it today, but let me know by hitting the like button if you guys would like to see that kind of video, like a kitchen organization of like my cabinets and things. But anyway, so this is the top shelf here. This is all of my like sauces and vinegars and oils and things like that on this turntable makes it super easy to get and then i have a small container here with some extra things so i have extra cans of or jars of tomato sauce things like that um i have some pasta in these oxo containers back there i have some of the um these are the what are they called dehydrated potatoes so these kind of just like live back here and we'll buy those in bulk too. Oh my gosh, stuck. Okay, and then extras of some condiments, things like that, peanut butter, dressing, basically anything like that. So I do have a little bit of space here I can kind of get creative with. So we will try to see how this stuff fits in here. I also need to reorganize this because I can only put short stuff on here like this. This is way too tall. So I don't know what that's doing there. Anyway. Let's see what I can do with this mess. There's no going back, no going back. There's no going back to your own life. I'm living in the past, we're over that. I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying high. Okay, so this is what it looks like now. Definitely much better, still not great, but it's one of those things where you kind of just have to work with the space that you have. So it's not always gonna look super organized because I have to have food in my pantry. I don't like going to the grocery store every other day. So even though I have a small space, I kind of try to do the best I can to work with it. So this is much better. Everything that up here or that's up here fits really well without um, impeding this slanted ceiling here. Everything here fits really well. And then all my baking stuff is still down there. I basically got everything that I bought into this pantry. So one way or another, I made it work. This is kind of teetering here, but I'm sure these will be gone within a day or two. So that's pretty much it for that. Definitely looks a lot better. That's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have an Aldi near you, definitely go check it out. See what kind of amazing finds that you can get. I was so impressed with how little I spent. I also hope that this video gave you lots of motivation to clean out your fridge, clean out your pantry, and just kind of make your life a little bit more organized in this chaotic world that we are living in right now. But don't forget to hit the like button if this video helped you. Please subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you join my internet family. I will see you guys again very soon in a brand new video. Bye guys. Get too drunk and too scared